Bible said in 2 Peter chapter 3, he said, This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance.
man. And another thing about it, I don't have to have Miss Rita the best they are in this world. I've got Jesus, and he's the best. Amen. Amen. He's the best. Yeah. And I don't understand how people say who is the church, and I'm going to say it again. The church is the people. But everybody says they're part of the church. Ain't. If they was part of the church, they'd still be around here hugging one another and praising God. Amen. 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 I don't know. I told Louise the other day, I said, I don't know why in the world everybody can't do like I do, go home, Brother Ben, and get in the recliner and sit back down to my own business. Amen. 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 I get a phone calls about this and about that. And you know what I've got to tell them now? I want everybody to hear this, so if you hear anything, you know what I said. I said, they need prayer. Amen. And I just let it go with that. Because anybody that wants to gab about that somebody else needs prayer. Lance, we're not supposed to run our brother or sister down. Amen. Amen. Well, about where did I get to? Verse 3. Thank you. Knowing this, listen, first that there shall come in the last day, what? Scoffers. Walking after their own lust. Eighth chapter of Romans 8, where it says, There is therefore now no condemnation unto them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Amen. 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 I want to say that and say this. I had a, a deacon of this church about, I'm not going to hit it pretty well, read it 12, 14 years ago that uh, this, give this man and woman $500 to tell everybody that I was running around with the women. And I said, well, I've heard that so much, I'm sorry, David, I'll just have my lawyer to draw up papers and get you for slander against the man of God. Come on. Amen. You know what happened? The next, that Monday after that Sunday, they asked me would I not take down papers out and so and so give them money to do it. And they said, sorry. And Rita come in one Wednesday night and said, I want to read something. Well, man, she read the letter that they apologized for lying on the preacher. Amen. You want me to tell you something? I'd be ashamed if I had to tell a lie on somebody to try to tear down the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. I'm not perfect. Brother Harold, I'm not perfect. I'm a long ways from being perfect. Amen. But I'll tell you right now, I've got a Savior that will do till Jesus comes, and when he comes, I'm leaving. Amen. 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 <laughs> Come on, Harold. And say in verse 4, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Now, you know our forefathers, they, uh, they sinned. They done things that's wrong. Jim Goble, they, 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 a lot of our forefathers have done bad things. And, but did you know what? We do not let have to follow our forefathers' pattern. We just need to follow Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's right. For this is they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God the heavens were old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Whereby the world that then was then overflown with water perished. When that happened, Noah and the ark. And you know what? Did you ever think about that ark? It was three stories high, representing God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. 
and the right side was a door at the one end. And when everybody got in there, Brother Ben, like they're supposed to, God shut the door. And you look it over, if you've got a Bible that's got a picture of it, I'd have one at the house, hasn't it? There's one window in it, and it's in the top. You know why he put there, Miss Debbie Port? Always look up. Amen. Don't never look back. Gene Baumgartner, Louise, my wife's brother, preached a message last one time. I wish you could have heard it. About the animals on the ark. He said, I'm going to preach what God said. And he said, you know what God told the, the old snake when he come in? And that tongue stuck out. He said, all right, Mr. Snake, draw it back in there and keep your mouth shut. He said, the old goat come in. And he said, Mr. Goat. Quit hollering and blatant. Boy, he walked through that just like ABCs, and you talk about a mess. Yep. Well, preacher, how in the world did them deadly snakes and all get along, and nobody got killed because God planted it? Amen. If that ain't good, I want you Amen. to tell me where it is good. Brother Tig, God planted it. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved into fire against the day of judgment and tradition of ungodly man. You know what he's talking about? Everything's on hold now till the earth burns a fire. There won't be water but fire next time. Amen. Preacher, no, I ain't going to be in it. Uh-uh. I like that song. Has anybody ever heard that old uh, that song, Christian song, we sing on the radio? The only thing that I'll ever feel in my soul, only fire that I'll ever feel is burning in my soul. Amen. You ever heard that take? Amen. Pretty. And if you've been washed in the blood, let me tell you something. I'm gonna say this plain as I know how. If you've been washed in the blood, born again to the Spirit of God. You're not what you used to be. You ain't what you really like to be. But you're a whole lot more than what you was. Amen. 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 Yep. Amen. I went into Drexel Furniture the Monday after I got saved. Bob Lamber said that something happened to Michael. He ain't come in here to a day of cussing. He ain't coming here slapping me halfway down like he usually does. I said, Bob, Bob Lambert used to live right over here. I said, Bob, God saved me Friday night. Boys, I'm telling you what's the truth. I mean, I got a good dose of it. And the night I announced Brother Ben my calling to preach at Riverside Baptist Church from across the Freedom High School, and I got up to announce my calling to preach, that boy is there singing. He said, I know God's called him to preach because he's done preach for two hours and he's had stored up for a while. How many of you, now listen to me real good, how many of you meet people yet today that you got to tell them about the day you got saved? Amen. Jimmy Carrico come in that door back there on Wednesday night after you got saved on Sunday night. And he looked at me, and you know, I mean, I knew Jimmy and how he drank and everything and all about. And he hugged me and said, guess what happened to me Sunday night? I got saved! Amen. And if you ever met Jimmy, and he's coming here when Jimmy's here, and you look at him and talk to him and couldn't tell he's been saved, maybe you need a trip off. Because so that boy turned plumb around. Amen. I knew we'll forget that night Debbie walked over that bank turn. And I was going to pray for him for the hurt, and he got right there. He said, I don't have to go no further. God's done heal me. Amen. And I asked him, said, Amen. Yep. He's going to have heart surgery on Tuesday. Am I right? One Monday or Tuesday. And he said, this, I'll be back here next Sunday sitting right there. And I said, He was. He said, Right there. And he'd tell everybody that he got aggravated at me because I cheated him out of steak supper, then. I walked in down there that morning. I said, God told me you was going home today. And 
About that time, the doctor come in and said, you're dismissed. You can go home and he'd ordered a steak for dinner. And I, I, I thank God for, for Jeff back there. I didn't know it until Jeff told me later on or Deb did. And Jeff I got to thinking about that and about two or three weeks before he passed on, Jeff went and bought a steak supper and took it to him. Thank you for covering that for me. <laughs> hey, you don't never go wrong by helping somebody. No. Amen. And I know I was sitting in church on some of Louise's people that died, and Jimmy was sitting beside him, and that's before he got saved, and he's just a ball. I said, Jimmy, it ain't far up there, son. I can't walk, but I'll crawl with you up there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't bother me. I know how it felt. Amen. So Louise got me with the arm that night and said, what? I said, leave me alone. And I had to go. And I got up there. I, I believe I've done the same thing before I got there. Amen. Well, preacher, that was a Methodist church you got saved in. It don't matter what the name of the church is. The same God was in all of them. Amen. I know some people don't recognize it. I know some people don't honor it. But there's one thing about it. He's still the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Thank God. He said, I never change. The Bible said, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but he is long suffered toward to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You want me to tell you something? Even old Jezebel in the book of Revelation had an opportunity to repent and repented not. Amen. Am I preaching the Bible? Yep. You ever think about what when the dog wasn't in that damn board eat everything but the palms of her hand and the feet? Am I right? Come on. The palms of her hand. Palm of their hand. Amen. Well, I'll tell you right now, it didn't matter what the dog did, she still didn't repent. You want me to tell you something? I believe if we feel tonight like we need to come to the altar and ask God to forgive us something, we don't have to advertise and tell nobody. All you got to do is come and tell Jesus. That's right. Oh, I can tell it all, Jesus, any time, oh, yes, I can, for he, he is always on the line, thank God, amen. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with permanent heat. And the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Amen. You know they can take a body cremated and put a pan under it and it turns into ashes. Well, preacher, it's gone. No, that same person that's laying there, that pan full of ashes will stand as a full-grown human being Amen. when Jesus comes. Amen. Yeah. You ever heard that old song, We Shall Rise, Hallelujah. <laughs> We're going to raise one of these days. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Verse 11, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and government? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with permanent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heaven and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Amen. Amen. That little boy back there. He'll say, Preacher, remember me and mine. And he's heard somebody in here say that. And ain't nothing wrong with it, son. You want to praise the Lord, you raise that hand and praise Amen. Amen. He ain't uh, disturbing the service. He's trying to get the service to shout a little bit. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot, without a blame. Seeing that 
seen a man the other day he had some peaches. And he had a pretty good basket sitting there, and he said, that's cool, so I'll sell them for two dollars and a half. Well, the Bible said that he's going to take and trim us up. And he's going to throw all the branches that he trims off in the end of the fire to make us holy, righteous, and clean in the sight of God. Amen. How clean are you tonight? Miss Rita, I believe, went to a funeral today of some of her people. You never know when the master's going to call. But when he calls, I hope to. Is he ready to go? Yeah, he was. He went out, okay. Yeah, he went out here to Mountain Grove Church. And not because he went there, but according to Rita, his life proved it. You can come here to church, this building, all you want to. But when you stand before God, if you ain't right, he's going to say, depart, I never knew you. You talk about a day of screaming, a day of hollering, and a day of lancer. People are accusing one another. There'd be people in hell, they're accusing somebody there. And it wasn't their fault, because the Bible said, choose you this day whom you'll serve. Who'd you choose? I'll take him. Nobody else don't want him, I'll take him. Amen. A lot of people say, well, the church is going, the church is going down. No, it ain't. The hypocrites, they never really got saved. Whoa. Say amen, Brother Jim. Amen. Well, Jesus said, come unto me, all you weary and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. I meet preachers. I met one here a while back. He used to pastor First Baptist Church in Valdez. He said that he resigned and he had done his part. I said, where do I go out here at the Bible in, in the truck and bring it in and let you show me that? No. I don't care if God called you to preach. He didn't call you for a day or two. He called you throughout eternity. Amen. Amen. Somebody asked me the other day, he says, Preacher, the way you fall around and get around, how come you just keep on going? I said, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Amen. 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 Now, ain't nobody going to discourage me. If you're picking on me, to discourage me to think you're going to cause me to fall over. You're fighting, you're fighting a losing battle. You're swinging the battle. Because I'm going to keep on keeping on for the glory of God. Amen. If it be horns of devil. How many of you love the devil? He didn't know what. Amen. A lot of people love the works of the devil more than they do the works of God. But I'm glad I'm saved. Amen. Let's come and pray and have a good week. Amen. I'm done now.